expect a chance of rain on Sunday and Monday. And on Tuesday, expect mostly cloudy skies. Well, it's that time again, 10 minutes before the hour, to get the very latest on the tropics. Of course, we have been keeping a very close eye on Dolly. Here is the latest information from the National Hurricane Center. Tropical Storm Dolly, as of the 5 o'clock advisory from the National Hurricane Center, centers the storm at 10.6 degrees north, 38.8 degrees west. That puts it about 14 180 miles east of the Windward Islands. It has winds of 60 miles an hour. It is moving due west at 18 miles an hour. And there you see the lowest estimated pressure, 1,000 millibars. Now, this advisory shows that the system is much weaker than it was earlier today, say six hours ago, because earlier the winds were up to 65 miles an hour. And actually, just by looking at it at the on the satellite picture, you can clearly identify that this system has weakened a little bit because those higher colder cloud tops are not as obvious so that means some of those thunderstorms are starting to wane a bit here and what you really need with an organized tropical system is to keep the thunderstorm activity or the convection around the center of circulation so this is not happening right now so it's undergoing a little bit of a weakening a spell if you will but it is forecast to strengthen again and actually it could very well become a hurricane within the next 48 to 72 hours but based on the satellite picture it shows that tropical storm Dolly has weakened quite considerably but we're thinking that this is an is only a temporary weakening trend so we'll keep you posted here is Dolly in respect to the rest of the Atlantic Basin you can see it's pretty much midway between the West African coast and the northern coast here of South America on the 10 degree uh, latitude line here and again it is moving due west at about 18 miles an hour so that will eventually maybe put it toward uh, the southern islands here that make up the lesser Antilles and this direction actually is not expected to change over the next 24 hours so we will keep you posted you know that on any changes with tropical storm Dolly other than than Dolly we've had some thunderstorm activity over the northern islands here near Puerto Rico and another little upper air disturbance well north and east of Puerto Rico, but these are not organized and are not threatening at this time. The Gulf of Mexico, we don't have any convection here, but we have denoted a little bit of weak circulation. So this area bears watching as well, because you know the waters are very warm here, and this is a favorable area for tropical development. So we will, will without a doubt keep you posted, even though it doesn't look very ominous on the satellite picture because it doesn't have much convection with it. But again, the National Hurricane Center is looking at this area because it does indicate a little weak circulation with it just to south of um, the Louisiana border. Not just south, but over the open waters in the Gulf of Mexico. As we cross over Mexico into the eastern Pacific, a couple of systems we're watching here. Tropical storm Hernan has winds of 50 miles an hour. It's moving to the northwest at about eight miles an hour, and Hernan could very well become a hurricane. So we'll continue to watch this for you, but the good news is that it is moving away from Mexico, and Tropical Depression Genevieve, you know, was once Tropical Storm Genevieve, that's why it was given a name, but it has weakened to a depression, and it is expected to continue weakening as well. So uh, not too much interested, uh, interesting going on in the eastern uh, Pacific. And again, we will keep you posted on what's going on in the Atlantic with Tropical Storm Dolly. Wanted to quick, quickly bring you across the Western Pacific because this is mainland China, southeastern Korea here on the southern tip of Japan. And we've been watching Typhoon Rusa as it gets closer to South Korea, could bring some very, very heavy rains and flooding rains to the area. We'll keep you posted on that. In fact, we'll keep you posted throughout hurricane season for the latest in the Pacific as well as the Atlantic. This program was brought to you by Pep Boys. Help for your car is just a Pep Boys away. Pep Boys, we're car people. 
Mo, when you trust the person who works on your car, you say, I got a guy. Well, if you got a car, you need a guy. We've got guys who are certified technicians. Diagnostic guys. Our guys are here seven days a week. And nights, too. Everything we sell, our guys can install. On imports and domestics. People have trusted our guys for over 80 years. Uh, one thing, guys. <laughs> What's that, Manny? Not all of our guys are guys. Good point, Manny. But they're all car people. Pet, Pet boys. boys. We're, We're car, car people. people. Call 1-800-PET-BOYS or go to PetBoys.com to find the store nearest you. When you sign up for any AT&T wireless calling plan starting at $19.99 a month, you can get a Nokia 3360 for only $29.99 after mail-in rebate. That's M-Life from AT&T Wireless. Hurry in or call today. Hey, Steve.